Hello and good evening all. I got a story about a justice, uh, justice system and how it sucks. But before we get to that, I would like to thank all my return viewers and my subscribers. And if you just found my channel, uh, I suggest you check out my other videos to see if you like them. And if you do, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Now on to the story. Attempted assassin John Hinckley is released after 41 years. He's the guy that tried to assassinate Ronald Reagan. John Hinckley received an unconditional release Wednesday, 41 years after he shot President Ronald Reagan. Hinckley, 67, attempted to assassinate Reagan in 81. I was 11 at the time, and this is one of the first stories I remember. U.S. District Judge Paul Friedman had previously announced Hinckley would be released on June 15th. Hinckley's attorney, Barry Levin, Confirmed a full release in the email to Fox News. If he hadn't tried to kill the president, he would have been released unconditionally a long time ago, Judge Friedman said at the time. In addition to Reagan, Hinckley shot in White House Press Secretary James Brady, as well as Sec Secret Service agent and Washington police officer, and a Washington police officer. Brady suffered long-term health problems from the shooting, and in his death in 2014 was ruled a homicide, though additional charges Hinckley was not, were not pursued. He can still go after him. There's no statute of limitation on murder. Hinckley spent more than 30 years in a mental hospital after he found guilty in the assassination attempt by reason of insanity. This is bullshit. He, re he received a conditional release to his mother's home in 2016, but those conditions were dropped on Wednesday, and he is now fully free. This is bullshit. He tried to assassinate the president. He should be, um, wasted. After 41 years, 2 months, and 15 days, freedom at last, Hinkley welcome vote on Twitter. Yeah, they allow that, you know, an assassin, but they won't allow the ex-president on Twitter. Hinkley has now set his sights on a music career. He is scheduled to hold a concert in Brooklyn on July 8th. A big thanks to everyone who helped me get my unconditional release, Hinkley wrote June first. What a long, strange trip has been. Now it's time for rock and roll. Yeah, this guy's a scumbag. He should never been released. If you get, if you're insane for trying, if you plead insanity, you should be thrown in jail for life. No answer for us, but about it. So what do you guys think? Did he, did we just waste all that money for this idiot? Or should we just, um, executed him a long time ago? I would really like to know. And if you made it this far, and you like what I do in my other videos, please hit the like button and subscribe. And it's always be good. Have fun. Stay safe. Bye-bye.